And now we have already studied how a single phase flow is modeled. It is modeled by using the Navier-Stokes equation, that is the continuity equation, the momentum equation and the energy equation. As you know the continuity equation is what looks like here. The momentum equation in three particular direction is as shown, that is xyz direction. This is the unsteady momentum equation and the energy equation is as shown here. So when we model single phase flow, the basis forms the Navier-Stokes equation. This will also continue to be the basis for multi-phase flow as these are basic governing equation for any type of flow. The only difference or the additional, po additional point to be considered in multi-phase flow is how we connect or interconnect the exchange between different phases. We will study this in detail as we go ahead in this particular advanced module. Now let us have a look at what is multi-phase flow. Multi-phase flow in simple terms is simultaneous flow of mixture of phases such as gases in liquid or liquid in gases and similar such flows. So whenever when we say multi-phase flow what a, a picture should come to our mind is it is a mixture of different phases and these phases have their distinct velocity field. Now as you are noticing, we are having a separate advanced module for multiphase flow. We are studying multiphase flow in detail one by one by covering each topic or terminologies associated with it. We would wonder why do we need to study multiphase flow as a different branch or a different topic of study in CFD module. Now, there are various reasons for it. We will see some of them here, some of the prominent ones. Multiphase flows are found in many industrial applications like chemical reactors and process flow industry. Almost all industrial flow contain multiphase flow. Natural and environmental flow phenomena like rivers and cloud formation involve multiphase flow. Just to see this in reality, try to observe how many flows that you see in nature or in industry are single phase flows. In reality, it is really difficult to isolate single phase isolated flow phenomenon. Thus, knowledge of multiphase flow physics is extremely important in order to carry any experimental or simulation study. Multiphase flow is a very vast field of study. It involves study of fluid mechanics, study of heat transfer or energy transfer as well as mass transfer. In order to make things simpler, multiphase flows are generally classified into different types. These types are generally based on criteria like number of phases involved, the type of phases involved, the sizes of the phases involved and as well as how the phases interact with each other. We will study each of these type in brief as we progress. Let us first have a look at dispersed phase flow. In such flows, one of the phases are in the form of discrete elements. But we do not see any connection between these individual discrete phase elements which may be in the form of particles or droplets. Example of such type of flow is gas or bubbles in liquid. Next is separated flows. In such type of flow, two phases involved are separated by a distinct line of contact, which means that we can travel from one location to another in the same phase and remain in the same medium. An annular flow is an example of such type of flow. Annular flow which generally involve a liquid layer along the pipe and a gaseous inner core. So to summarize this slide, we will generally observe dispersed phase as a mixture of different sized droplets or particles dispersed around a continuous medium. Whereas in separated flow, we can distinctly divide one phase from another.